from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. We will launch one of the largest and greatest vaccination programs within our community ever seen to vaccinate as many people as possible. Prime Minister Minutes at the arrival ceremony for the next batch of coronavirus vaccine. Now they're ready to get it into persons by getting the other vaccination centers up and running again. On Monday the 9th of August, the Church of God of Prophecy on East Street site will be opened. And this will be followed by the Bahama Convention Center on Tuesday the 10th of August, followed by the St. Anselm Church Hall on Wednesday the 11th of August. By next week, Wednesday, all of these sites for a total of four vaccination centers will be operating on New Providence to administer first and second doses. Dr. Minnis also confirmed that he has the approval of his cabinet to join doctors to help administer those doses. Health officials keep pushing for persons to get vaccinated. Deputy Chief Medical Officer Dr. Dellen Brennan, the latest, says you can stay alive by taking those shots. The numbers prove it. He says less than 5% of fully vaccinated persons get infected with the virus. More help from the U.S. in the COVID fight. They've delivered four ultra-low temperature freezers needed to store vaccine. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The country has lost one of its founding fathers. Former Governor General and Deputy Prime Minister A.D. Hanna has passed away. He died at his home at the age of 93. Prime Minister Minnis describing him as a Bahamian giant and a statesman. Bahamas Power and Light officials say a mid-morning fire at its decommissioned station at Clifton Pier had no impact on generation. The fire was contained quickly, no injuries involved. The initial investigation into that recent Abaco plane crash that killed two pilots has been completed by the Air Accident Investigation Department now. The pilots have been blamed for causing that crash. No medal for Shawnee in the 200-meter final at the Olympic Games yesterday. Says she felt her hamstring and decided to shut it down, finishing last in the race. Not confirmed if she will run the semifinals of the 400 meters scheduled for today. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. Partly cloudy today, showers are possible. Highs in the upper 80s, some low 90s maybe. 88 at Freeport, 90 in the capital, 89 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around noon. Mostly cloudy tonight. Lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. This is the peak of the hurricane season, so insurance management urges you to double-check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines the Delta variant of the coronavirus still pushing up cases around the world. Japan, China, Thailand and the U.S. among the countries looking for ways to control the spread. Wildfires continue to burn out of control in southern Turkey. 10,000 persons evacuated. Government officials say they are making some progress in getting some of those fires under control. Pope Francis has now resumed public activities a month after he had major surgery. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 513, SO 517, Rubus $5.18 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. All of the details from Tokyo and the Tribune Sports, including the problems for Shawnee in the 200-meter final, found out what she says happened. The Tribune Sports has total coverage of all of the events 
at the games. There's a Major League Baseball update in the Tribune Sports. Another setback with Jazz. He has another injury. NBA free agency season. Find out where players are headed in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.